Okay, so hello everyone. This is part 83 of our playlist Holistic Python. In this video, we we are going to discuss more about the XML. All right. So let's start XML. Okay. So what is XML? XML stands for Extensible Markup Language. XML is a markup language, much like HTML. Okay. XML is what? Much like HTML. XML was designed to store and transport data. XML was designed to be self descriptive. XML is a W3 recommendation. Okay. Means in XML, we can write our on text. Okay. Like we can create our on text. But in HTML, we cannot create our on text. Okay. We already have seen this. Like XML versus JSON. So read once again. As a markup language, XML is more complex and required a tag, tag structure. In contrast, JSON is a data format that extends from JavaScript. It does not use tags, which makes it more compact and easier to read for humans. JSON can represent the data in, in a smaller file size or faster data transfer. Right? So, see this example. Okay, so these are the ex uh, example of XML file. So here we are creating a student tag. So here we are, he, we will close the student tag as well. Here we are creating, okay, not here, but here we are closing as well, student tags. And a student tag, we have a student, okay. And each student containing some information, okay, like this. Okay, so let me write the code so that you can easily understand. What I will do, I will open file. Okay, what I will save this file. I'll save this file as a XML. Okay, so I will write here student or Python student dot xml and i will save it all files right and here i will write text so what i will write is students first if you are writing student then you will close the student tag right and inside the students tag i will write the information of student so i will write here student so i will close the student as well student information like what i want to write here i would like to write the information like name of the student so i will close the name of the student as well and between this tag i can write the name of the students like rick okay. and now i will write another tag like age okay so age like 35 and i will close the age tag as well and then we have subject. I'll close the subject. Right. So what I'm writing, I'm writing XML file. Okay, like subject is like math. Right. And gender. We'll write as a text. Right. So this is all about student one. Now we will write for this another student. Okay. So what is the name of the other student? Brian. Sign age. What is the subject? Like science. Okay. Let's see the details. What is the name of her student? Like, okay, what is the age? Like 36. What is the subject? Like art. What is the gender? Female. Right. So this is how we created what XML file. How many students are there? Student 1, student 2, 
and we have a student three. So three students are there in this XML file. So this is how we can create the XML file. XML module is used to manipulate XML files. It is a default module which comes with Python software. Okay, XML is a default module comes with Python software. We don't need to import this module. Okay. So suppose I want to read the XML data. So what I will do? I will write the code in order to use the XML data and I will import import what XML module in order to manipulate XML files. Okay. So I will create another file, new file, save this file. Okay. I will save this file. Like this one is Python file. Right, this one is what Python file. So I will write here code. So what I will do? I will parse the XML data. Okay. And here I will write file name XML. Okay, so what's the file name? A student, a student, not students, but it is a student. A student. Okay, and this parse is available in XML module. Okay, so we will call with the help of object et dot. This is what XML object. So in order to use this XML object, we need to create the XML object. So what I will do, I will import XML, import, import XML dot e tree dot element. Okay, S E T. Okay, so now E T is what object of which XML, XML E tree element tree, right? And we will store it tree cost, right? And now I will say root equals to Three dot get root. Right. Now I'll say print root. Del. Nice. Okay. Now what I will say, I will say print root dot attribute. The read attribute, and I will say for child in root. I separate child dot okay. So for name, what I will write here for name in root dot itm for name print print name dot txt Then what I will do? I will say for h in root for itr. I will say h and here print h dot txt. The subject is root itr. Then what I will write? I will write my subject. Okay. And I will say here print subject and dot txt. Subject of text. Okay. Subject of text. So what we have in our file? Okay. If we talk about child. If we talk about child tech, so this one is child tech. This one is also a child tech, right? If we talk about root iterator, root iterator name. So what is the root iterator name? This one. If we talk about age, root iterator, what's the age? Right. So this one is root element, what's the age here? 35. If I run this code, so what will happen? 
Les voy a dar esto a mí. Es si voy a ceder. Let's check XML file once. You see here it is not closing properly. Okay. If I run this code again, so it is giving us the students as a root element. Okay. Then it is giving empty. Means root element is empty. Then a student inside how many students are there? Zero students. Okay. And these are the three students' names. Three students ages and three student subjects, right? Okay, now we will talk about binary file. Binary files. In binary files, data is stored in bytes format or binary file. Is collection of bytes or binary file allow only bytes type of data? Okay. For example, creating binary file. Okay, so what we are doing, we are opening which file? File one dot dat. Okay, and in which mode? In write mode. Write binary. Okay, s f f is the object of file. So we will say bytes. We can write byte types of data in binary file. So we are converting this 65, 66, 67 into what bytes. So what is the byte equivalence of a? Like a. Sorry, 65. 66 is for P. So, like this, it will store. Print data is written inside a file. Okay. So, what is the output? Output is this means data is written inside the file. So, this will store like ABC in the file. Okay. So, for example, if you read the same file, you are writing the code to so read the same file. So, what would be the output? This would be the output. It is coming because we are printing X. Here, okay, we are reading printing word X, right? All right. This is it is printing like this, right? Now we will discuss about the pickle module. What is pickle module? This is important. Everyone, please focus here. Pickle module. Pickle is a default module. Come with Python software. The pickle module implements binary protocol for serializing and deserializing. Okay, which protocol? Binary protocol implements for serialization and deserialization. A Python object structure. Okay, pickling is a process whereby a Python object hierarchy is converted into a binary stream. And unpickling is the inverse operation whereby a byte stream from a binary file or bytes like object is converted back into an object hierarchy. Pickling and unpickling is alternative, alternatively known as serialization or we can say marsh hauling or flattening. However, to avoid confusion, the term used here are pickling and unpickling. Right? For example, this is the float object. Okay, this one is a float object, and this one is also a float object. So pickling means object to byte. We are converting object to byte. So it will convert into what bytes. And then unpickling means we are converting bytes to object. So it will convert into what byte to objects. And this is byte object. Right. So all right. Thank you everyone for giving your valuable time. We will discuss more about pickling and unpickling in the next lecture. Okay. So thank you everyone for giving your valuable time and keep practice everyone and do not forget to smile. Right? That is also important. Okay, so practice everyone and make your own notes if you want.